The next time that you find yourself in an argument with your spouse or your kids, use the word but after you make a point and watch how the entire dynamic of the conversation changes. Our, our arguments happen because we are wanting to be heard and we're f not feeling like we're being heard. And when two people are having those exact same feelings, they start to escalate. They say, well, you didn't do the laundry yesterday. And then the other person says, well, I did the dishes. And then the other person says, you're never available to do the laundry. I need your help doing the laundry. And then that person says, I always do the laundry. Try this instead. Make your point and then put the word but at the end of it and give a little bit of room to see where they're coming from. So you'd say, I did the dishes yesterday, but you're right, I didn't do the laundry. Now this works so well because you're able to say what you need to say and then you're adding on to it in a way that makes the other person feel heard. Now you can't flip it. So you can't say, I didn't do the laundry yesterday, but I did the dishes. It's not going to come across the same way because the but is negating their point in favor of your point. And you, you have to be honest and honestly take a look at their point and be willing to put it after yours, after that but negates your point. Try this out. See how it works and have better and smoother communication with you, the people important to you, your friends, your family. This was Rich Life Realization.